There we go. Got him. How's that one look, Tony? Not a bad fish at all. No, nice. A lot of fight, man. Nice bass, Tony. Nice bass. On today's show, we're near Detroit Lakes with friend Tony Mariotti, who we filmed a lot of shows with in the past. And kind of the story lately, it's been really hot, hot summer. Water temperatures are through the roof, 88 degrees, almost touching 90 degrees some days during the middle of the day. And as a result, these fish have been tucked way up in these pencil reeds and way up in the cabbage and lily pads and weeds. Good vegetation is a key. Even though this water is this warm, these fish are still tucking way back in the weeds. We're going to show you how to catch these fish on today's show. Jason Mitchell Elite Series Rods brings you the Daily Log Entry. Got him? <laughs> Good stuff, huh? Yeah, they're they're oh, hanging there's a dandy. right on the edge there's of those dandy. pencil reeds, boy. There's a dandy, Tony. There is a dandy. Why don't you show the folks what you're doing here? You know, we're using those jawbreakers by Northland, and I'm you just inhaled it. Tipping it with the impulse of that beaver tail. And they are absolutely smoking it right on the edge of those pencil reeds. And that's the thing about these, these particular spoons, you're just skimming it over the top, more or less like a top water. Absolutely, giving it a little twitch, and they're coming up and just blowing up on them. And you're probably, we're probably in a foot of water where we're casting, maybe yeah, less. Maybe less. And these fish are tucked right up in there, right yep. up in the salad. Boy, beautiful fish, and All they're right. just smoking it. Yeah, look at that, it's like an ice cream bucket for a mouth. <laughs> That fish is way in the slop. No, I'll just lift him in here. There. There. Right in the salad. Look at that, yeah, there. Yeah, that's cool stuff. And we'll show the different types of weeds that you're focusing on, but it's like anything, bass are very edge orientated, and so the key is to find two different good types of weeds that butt up to each other. And so in this case, we're finding cabbage that butts up with, with pencil reeds, and that's the magic combination. But find that edge, find where those good weeds butt up, and that's where you're gonna focus on these fish. But what's amazing to me is how shallow these fish are and how hot it is. For as hot as it is, it, I'm amazed. It's like bathtub water, yep. and that's right where the fish are. But green weeds will hold fish all summer long, and we always say that about a variety of species, and bass especially so. Seems to be where. Got him? Oh, yep. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a big in, fish. He's either in the weeds or a nice fish, Jason. Oh, yeah, there's a nice one. He brought me down. <laughs> Shake loose the salad. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, he, he hit her and took me straight down into that cabbage. Why don't you discuss some of the different ways that we're fishing these? There's a lot of different ways that you can fish a weedless spoon. Yeah, a lot we're of using different types of places. We're using these jawbreakers, and with the thick stuff we're fishing right now, and fishing as shallow as we are, there'd just be no way we could uh, be fishing anything like a spinner bait or a different kind of bass lure. You know, we're able to see these little pockets in the weeds, bring that jawbreaker right above them, and you know, kind of let it flutter back down and 
this is what we're being rewarded with, and there's some beautiful fish. Yeah, I mean, the only other option would be, obviously, you could use soft plastics, scum frogs. Sure. Nice thing about these spoons, though, is that you can flutter down in those pockets, and a lot of fish hit when, yep. when you flutter. And that's what I'm finding right now, too, is when you just kind of let it drop into those pockets, all of a sudden you feel that tap, bam, and game on. Got him? Yep. All right, Tony. Nice work. Nice work. Oh, that fish is weed. way up in there. Way up in yeah, there. Yeah, he hit. The second, the second that <laughs> lure hit the water, boy. Cool, cool. Tony, you've shared a lot of great tips today, and I really appreciate it. This is some good stuff that I think will help people catch a lot more bass. Yeah, these jawbreakers have really been working just for us to hit those pockets of fish. And well, this is our reward. You show me how it's done today. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching.